as you were hearing just about 10 or 15 minutes ago, Guido Fawkes, the news website, are reporting that Privileged Committee member and Partygate Inquisitor Bernard Jenkin, shock horror, attended lockdown drinks gatherings himself. This is a guy who was in charge of, well, the old Boris Johnson inquiry. Joining me now is Conservative MP Michael Fabricant to react hot off the press to this big breaking news story. Michael, thank you very much. I mean, this is shocking stuff. It is shocking because Bernard Jenkin, my colleague Bernard Jenkin, actually chaired the Privileges Committee inquiry and gave a very pious and some might say sanctimonious speech about how rotten Boris Johnson was for attending a party at a distance where there was a cake. And if this information that's breaking from Guido Fawkes is true, in a much smaller room, he did much the same. If it's true, we all don't want to be sued. Uh, if it's true, it is, of course, the most incredible hypocrisy. Because if you recall, it was uh, Chris Bryant who originally chaired the committee. He stood down because he said that he was biased. Mm. It then went into the hands of Harriet Harman and Bernard Jenkin, who actually was the deputy chair to Harriet Harman, not actually the chair, I'm reminded. Mm. Uh, he then gave a sanctimonious speech, as did others, and of well, let me put this to you, Michael. Michael, let me, let me put this to you. This has just landed in front of me right now. It's a quote from Boris Johnson. He says, this is about Bernard Jenkin. This has just come through to me. He says he has no choice but to explain his actions to his own committee for his colleagues to investigate and then to resign. I, I mean, does this cast a complete doubt over everything that may or may not be found against Boris Johnson and highlight potentially what Boris Johnson was suggesting, which is that this was a kangaroo court? Well, I mean, many of us, uh, I, I was there when Boris Johnson gave his evidence and the body language of the committee members was disgraceful. One or two of them behaved in a dignified way. Others were sort of nodding their head in disagreement with the evidence that Boris was providing. They are supposed to be jurors. They're supposed to be a proper court, not a kangaroo court. And some of them behaved, I'm afraid, as if it were a kangaroo court. But what this does is show, throw considerable doubt into the findings of the committee. You know, one of the things that many MPs find incredibly irritating is the sort of sanctimonious way in which the Privileges Committee at times behaves. And mm. when we hear that one of the key members of the committee, the senior member on the Conservative side, was apparently, if Guido Fawkes is correct, mm. breaking exactly the same rules, but in fact in a much smaller room, then really, you know, it casts a doubt on the veracity of the whole report. Well, there you go. I mean, should this report just be thrown out? Should Boris Johnson kind of rescind his resignation? Should he maybe be apologised to formally by Bernard Jenkins? Well, I certainly think that Bernard Jenkins should apologise because, and I keep saying, if it's true, because mm. if it's true, my gosh, you know, the hypocrisy is incredible. And Guido, in his uh, report, which is just breaking, mm. says, cast your mind back to Bernard Jenkins. He says this to Bernard Jenkins. Cast your mind back to December 8th during lockdown. Do you remember attending a drinks party in Parliament held by Eleanor Lang? Uh, Bernard Jenkins replies, I didn't attend any drinks parties during lockdown. Guido says, but it was your wife's birthday celebration. Are you saying you didn't have anything to drink? Bernard Jenkins then says, oh, I don't recall. Mm. And then, bother to go on about it now, but there's evidence that, in fact, drinks were served. Look, Michael, thank you very much for making the time for us at, at short notice and really emphasising how you feel and I think echoing the way that a lot of people feel about this whole thing. And if indeed it is true, the hypocrisy here, you can almost taste it a little bit like a drinks reception at your wife's birthday party. Thank you very much, Michael Fabricant there.